Hi, this is In the Wild with Chris. I'm up in Jämtland in Sweden, where it's right now about minus 20 centigrade or minus 4 Fahrenheit. I want to test what kind of camp stove to bring out in this kind of weather when it's this cold. Uh, what is the most efficient fuel and uh, what kind of camp stove is the most efficient? I'm trying out my Optimus Crux with a heat exchange on the pot. I'm also using my Tranga Micro Light and a Tranga 27. And I'm using uh, Primus Power Gas, which is a mix of uh, propane and isobutane. I'm using Fire Gel for the Micro Light. And I'm using denatured alcohol for the Tranga 27. But I'm also going to try it out with gas to compare it to the Optimus. I filled the pots with two deciliters of water, which is what? six and a half fluid ounces and I'll see how long it takes for them to boil. The power gas needs to be adjusted as it loses pressure, especially in this cold. Quite efficient with the Optimus stove. And here the Tranga Micro has started to boil. And the Micro 27 with the denatured alcohol is also boiling now. Now just using denatured alcohol with the Tranga isn't fair in a comparison, so I hooked up the Tranga to the same gas as I used for the Optimus. See how we're progressing here. Yeah, a little bubble so. Now we got the Tranga 27 boiling using uh, Prima's power gas as a fuel. Make sure you put your camp stoves on something uh, solid and heat proof. If you put it on the snow like this it might melt the snow and sink down. So, to sum it up, the most efficient camp stove was Optimus with the heat exchange at the bottom of the pot using gas. Uh, otherwise, the micro light was quite efficient using fire gel. If I go out in the wild in this kind of weather and the stove I'll bring along will be the Optimus gas stove. Uh, the Tranga is good if you want to do some more cooking, but I would not recommend using the ethanol. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some pointers of what kind of camp stove is most efficient when the temperature drops down this much. It's a beautiful day here. It's about midday and the sun is going to be setting below the mountains in an hour or so. A little bit cold to go skiing, but it's still very nice here. Till next time, this is In the Wild with Chris and I'm out. <laughs>